Well, good morning, everybody. We're reading through um, uh, Jeremiah, isn't it? <laughs> Jeremiah uh, 49 and, and 50. And um, it's, it's amazing. It just amazes me uh, on, on the goodness of our God. How um, Israel, you, you know, Israel and Judah, they, they deserved everything they, they, they got. And uh, it should have happened a lot earlier than it did. Uh, it just, they broke the covenant. They did everything that you could possibly do that God told them not to do. Uh, they did, they ended up living lives that were absolutely opposite to what they had been called to. Um, they had entered into very disgusting things, including the sacrifice of children to false gods and and all that sort of stuff. And yet, um, as he describes the consequences that are happening, as he lets them know it didn't happen without them knowing, as he told them what's going to happen, he also gave them uh, promises, the promises of, of return. He, he, he told that to the to the other nations as well. You know, he did the same thing. So, you know, here, here Babylon is, is knocking at the gate. And as they're knocking at the gate, he's telling them um, it's going to be okay. He'll bring them back after after 70 years that they, they need to go through this. Uh, he even told them, surrender to the enemy. If you surrender to the enemy, it's going to go well for you. Uh, if not, it's going to be more difficult. You're going to go through this regardless. But it'd be better if you surrender to the enemy. Uh, walk through the next 70 years. Um, pray for the place that you're going to live. Seek blessing for the place you're going to live because it'll go well for you. And then I, I, I'll call you back. We're going to understand that um, in, in every valley, every dark valley, uh, he's there with us. We've got to understand that in the storm, he promises us peace. Uh, in the dark, uh, he is the light. And the other thing we have to understand, we're not in the Old Testament. So, like, our perspective is completely different. We're, we're, not, we're not fighting to get victory. We're already seated in a place of victory because Jesus got the victory for us. We're, we're moving toward, we're, we're, we're heading into places with the answers. We're heading into dark places with the light. Uh, we're in, uh, entering into the storms with peace. It's us. Jesus called us the light. He called us the light. Yes, Jesus is the light, but he called us the light. He said, you are the light. And because we have him and he is the answer and he's solution. So as we come in, we bring that with us. We bring victory. We, we bring light into darkness. We bring peace into the storms. Um, yeah, that's what we've been, we've been called to. That's who he says we are. And that's how we're supposed to be functioning. Unfortunately, most of the time, um, we're still fighting for a victory that, that we've already received. We're trying to achieve things that we already have. Uh, we're listening to the lies of the enemy trying to tell us to take shortcuts to achieve things that are already ours. Pretty crazy, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to leave this with you today. Today, just realize that you are somebody's answer to prayer. It's amazing to think like that. You are somebody's answer to their prayer. Guys, be blessed. Be encouraged. Love you all.